It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, you beautiful souls, to our family. And you are, you're part yeah. of our extended family. And we <laughs> celebrate Family Day today. We take some time to think about our genealogy and where exactly we come Ooh. from. Really interesting. And to do that, we're connecting with the owner of Still Life Genealogy, Jade Rossiter, to take us through the uh, genealogical process and to tell us why it's so important for us to know our family history. Can't yeah. wait. Good Can't morning, wait Jade. Good morning. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm fine. Nice to you. Oh, we are all good. It's excited, Family Day we're celebrating yeah. here. And I think for both G and I, very excited to find out more about this. But let's get straight into it. Obviously, for Mzanzi that doesn't know anything, what exactly is genealogy all about? And what, is, what, what do genealogists actually do, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope? <laughs> yeah. um, well, genealogy is the study of uh, family histories. And a genealogist is then the person who actually does the research. Ah, okay. I, I would imagine this must be so interesting. You've been doing this for the last decade or so. What inspired you to start an actual business to help people find out more about their family history, to climb that family tree? Well, um, I think the more and more interested I got in the, uh, into the, the subject, um, that's all that we talk about to everybody. So um, <laughs> it became quite annoying, but realizing that most people were interested but didn't know where to start or they, um, you know, they didn't have the time because it's a very, very time-consuming uh, hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Now, with, with the time being said, I mean, obviously, we're speaking about time, we're trying to draw back to time, but at the same time, you always hear these crazy stories in families of like, yo, my great, great, great uncle or great, great <laughs> did this and that. And, you know, they, they, they feel like rumors, but sometimes there's maybe truth in this. Is there any way of maybe using this rumor to kind of start your own process when it comes to finding out about your family and, and all those steps in terms yeah, of, okay, I want to find out how far I can go in my family tree. Do I take this rumor? Is there a practical approach? Maybe you can guide us on this, because I know a lot of Mzanzi is going to be listening and thinking, hey, I wonder actually, and I want to do something about this. Yeah, well, sometimes all you need is a rumor. Like, um, for example, your great-great-grandmother might think her parents were born in Scotland, um, and then without knowing, without having any evidence, you can still take that information. It gives you some way to start, and... Um, yeah, obviously, other information that would help would be, um, you know, um, having dates of birth and places of birth and, you know, um, general vital information, all that kind of stuff will obviously help much more. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love that. It almost, it's like super sleuth kind of stuff. So I would imagine it must be a very satisfying process to go through crunching all of that data. I've got to ask on the flip side of that coin, why do you think this is so important? What do we get out of finding out more about where we come from? In your experience, what are the people that you've helped go on this journey taken away from this process? Mm. Well, I think what's important, um, I think the reason why it's important um, to me is feeling a part of something feeling like, um, I mean, you are the result of generations of love and generations of struggles and generations of people overcoming those struggles. And just knowing that that is what you stand on, that's your um, where you come from. That's yeah. all inspiring. That's your, <laughs> I love that. That's your tribe. I've got to ask you something, because presumably you've done a lot of digging in your own family. Yeah. Do you have any really cool past relatives that are worth talking about on national TV? What was the, the most interesting revelations that you found out in your own journey? Well, one of my most favorite ancestors, uh, while I was um, working on my mom's maternal line, um, I was very excited to be able to trace her aunt's grandmother back to the French Huguenots. And then further than that, um, I went, We I found out that my 11 times maternal great-grandmother was a woman named Ansela van der Kaap. So she was apparently actually a slave born at, born at Cape Town Castle. And then she worked there for, I mean, probably most of her life until she fell in love with one of the German guards, Lawrence Kampfer. 
Um, he was then granted land by the governor at the time. But he continued to visit Ansela until they eventually gained her freedom in about 1699. And they were finally allowed to marry. And um, yeah, they actually planted a tree on the farm of Ellen Bosch. And the tree is still standing to this day. So that's a piece of yeah. history. That oh, no way. That is oh, incredible. A tree born of love. <laughs> you're, you're a love story. Your family yeah. tree is like one of the most amazing love stories ever. That is beautiful. <laughs> you've, you've told me exactly what I needed to hear today. That is so, so awesome. I think I get it now. I understand why we need to know where you've come from. Just imagine how many awesome stories like that. Incredible stuff. Oh, Jay, thank, thank you, you so, so much. Look, Zanzi, from learning about our family tree to finding the importance of family time with our relationship expert, we are going to be continuing with some more of this. Check it out. It's my feel-good birthday show. Welcome back, Mzanzio. Let us say welcome back, familia. Yes, it's family <laughs> day today, and you are our family. And we're talking about all things family today, and we are here still with an incredible conversation with genealogist Jade Rossiter, owner of Still Life Genealogy, and she's here today to talk about the importance of knowing your family history and the process you can follow in order to find this information out. We were blown away by the stories yeah. we were hearing earlier. I think G and I are even more excited to find out about our own family right now. Well, it just makes you think, because history, in my mind, rests on the actions of the individual. Yeah. That one person that changed the course of history. And we've heard, Jade, about your own incredible family history, which we're going to delve into a bit more in just a moment. I've got to ask, how often do you do discover that people have royalty in their bloodline? Is this something that happens <laughs> often because I think there are a lot of people out there thinking, man, I, w I feel regal. I feel royal. I, feel I, feel <laughs> I, I, I should have a, a kingly or a, a queenly history. How often are you surprised by the family histories that you discover? Um, quite often, actually. And um, there's a lot more people that are connected to the royal families than what you would actually think. A lot of us do have... Uh, you know, blue blood. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so important though? I mean, obviously knowing where you're from is a monumental question, but how does that help us? And especially when it comes to our family history, I mean, knowing that you have regal blood in you must be quite an important thing, yes? But why so? Um, I don't think that it's uh, necessarily important. It's not gonna change your life. Um, but like I say, it just, um, it's almost like, uh, I like to think of it like a backup, um, to know that you've got strong roots, you've got strong history, you've got strong ancestors, and that their blood is running through you. So, you know, you can draw from their strength in a way. Yeah, man. I love the fact that they've made their mark on the world and you get to do the same. Just yeah. imagine... 200, 300 years from now, one of your relatives looking back and going, oh, Royal, I have world championship life-saving yes. blood in me. <laughs> Man, my blood is in ble indeed blue. Um, to look at the more emotional side of this conversation, I, I think something I think would be really interesting to know is, um, especially if you're an orphan, mm. is where you have come from. But I would imagine in many cases, so many people in that situation will have no idea where to even begin. So what, what do you do if you're an orphan and wanting to find out more about your own family history? What is the first step? Well, I think, uh, well, um, you know, um, this is not really my area of expertise, but I can tell you, like, um, I've tried to help my dad's cousin, my dad's cousin, um, when it comes to adoption and that kind of thing. It's a little bit harder um, unless you've got the adoption papers or the names of your biological parents because a lot of the time the records are sealed or, you know, yeah. they're very private. They're actually out there for everybody. But if you've got your bio family's names, then, I mean, then you can, then it's your own discretion. Then you can build yourself an adoptive tree and a bio tree or you can make yourself one big tree because, I mean, it's, it's, who you it's are. all up to the individual. How you feel about your own family, yeah. Completely. I love that. I wanted to touch again on the story you shared with us earlier, which was absolutely incredible, wow. just to say the least. And I mean, your ancestor and what actually occurred and the fact that you have your own tree in the family, like an actual physical tree. It's almost like an heirloom. But more so, I wanted to I... know maybe what is the meaning to you of an occasion like this? Like, what is the impact of finding yeah. out this sort of like crazy history in your family? How did that change things for you kind of moving forward maybe? Or did it have any impact on you at all? 
Um, yeah, a big impact. Like I say, I mean, to find out that, I mean, she was, she was born into slavery and, um, you know, she, she made a life for herself after that and she overcame it. And she's my great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> her, I mean, you, you know, her blood, her struggles, her fights, that's running through my veins. Yeah, so, and you know, I feel like stronger. Yeah, and also potentially the reason why you actually get to continue doing what you do right now is because of that fight that took place those many years ago. It's almost like you're part of that legacy in a way, clearly. Yeah, but, and I'm glad you hit on that because it's not just your family. The, the path that was carved by Ansela and her husband and their romantic journey probably changed the game and the narrative for so many others. So you're yeah. part of a bigger network, which I love. <laughs> I, I really do understand how do we get in touch with you? What's the first step? If we want to go on this journey ourselves, how do we make contact and what should we do? Uh, well, you can reach me through my, um, my Facebook page. It's Still Life Genealogy. Or, um, you know, there's a WhatsApp link there as well. Um, if you want to go on this journey on your own, there's so many helpful websites. Like I say, it's a very time-consuming hobby, but, I mean, <laughs> it's more than to do this on your own. There's so much free information out there. You just need to sort of, you know, Google it. <laughs> uh, that's uh, why we live in the digital era. There is access to information. And I would imagine if you're the right kind of person, sinking your teeth into this kind of data yeah. crunching would be awesome. <laughs> Jade, you are amazing. You have the most amazing family as well, which means we know you come from good really, really good genes, and we love that. So thank you so much for sharing that with us this morning, and happy family day. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely love that. Coming through so from Jay cool, Namzan. If you also want to know more about your ancestry and your family history, go and check out Still Life Genealogy's website or their Facebook page at Still Life Genealogy. You might even discover family on the other side of the world, South Africa. Regal royalty. Blood, royalty, you never know. <laughs> well, let's get back to our relationship chat because it is, of course, family day.